If you ask folks who have ADHD, how's your memory? Often they'll say, I've got the best memory in my family. I can remember stuff nobody else can remember. And they'll give you some example about some movie they saw 10 years ago. And they can tell you every detail of the entire storyline of the movie they saw once 10 years ago. I haven't seen it since. Or somebody else will say, I've got 450 songs in my head. But even though they might be very good about remembering some things like that from a long time ago, if you ask them about something that happened just a couple of minutes ago or yesterday, often they can't tell you. The problem with memory with ADHD is not with long-term storage memory, it's with short-term working memory. It's what you depend on when you go into the other room to get something and you're standing there scratching your head and what in the world you came in here for. Or you're working on a project, you go downstairs, get something you need for the project, see something else that's interesting or something else that needs doing, soon you're up to your elbows in project number two, having totally forgotten you're in the middle of project number one upstairs, it was kind of important to get it done. Students complain, they'll be in class, teacher asks the question, they raise their hand, they've got a good answer for it, teacher calls on somebody else first, you have to wait while this other kid says her shtick, then the teacher comes back and says, yeah, what were you going to say? It's like, totally clueless. Not only have I forgotten what I was going to say, but what was the question again? Or you're getting ready to go someplace. You think of five things you need to take with you. Half an hour later, you're walking out the door, you got one of them. You can't remember the other four to save your life. It's where you have to hold one thing in your mind while you're doing something else. That's the kind of memory problem that people with ADHD complain about.